Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is David Schlothauer here in the home weather office with another detailed weather forecast for May the 16th, 2023. In this update, we are going to be looking at the entire United States weather forecast for the next seven days because there are changes coming that are going to bring more smoky conditions across the northern plains with more chances of monsoonal activity across the desert southwest. Now, if you're new to the channel and you really like these videos, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. So to start things off, we are taking a look at our current weather conditions. This is what I like to do at the beginning of each video on WSV3. So we're going to start off looking at the southeast first, since this is where most of the severe weather and thunderstorm activity is. So we do take a look here at Georgia, as well as Montgomery, Alabama. We got a pretty intense line of showers and thunderstorms. This is bringing in strong winds, some small hail, maybe even some larger hail, quite a bit of lightning strikes associated with that. There also have been a few brief spin-ups early on in the convective cycle with that activity. We also have had a couple of spin-ups along this boundary across Johnson City in Tennessee, Knoxville, with a few intense discrete storms capable of producing tornadoes, very large hail, and damaging winds associated with that activity. And this is again pushing further southeast into Charlotte, Greenville in North and South Carolina across I-85, I-77. So just be aware of that by tonight, you're going to get in some strong showers and thunderstorms. Now let's take a look now at, at with what we have going on across the south or the, the desert southwest. We do have the monsoon again today, including a few showers and thunderstorms popping up across the eastern portion there of the Sierra uh, uh, Mountains. Uh, east of Visalia, and then we got the showers and thunderstorms over Flagstaff, over Phoenix, Arizona, and again, this will be a repeat for tomorrow again. So, morning hours starting off dry and clear, then the afternoons turn stormy with uh, hail, accumulating hail, strong winds, and some uh, thunderstorms associated with those. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is there's been quite a bit of smoke across Canada. Some of that smoke has been for moving further south into, say, northern Iowa, where the sun today has been actually... Oh, and my radar program just crashed, so we're going to move on from there. I guess that's a signal for me to actually look at the weather models, but you get the idea. Definitely some smoky conditions there across the northern tier of the United States. So let's take a look now at our European model, because yeah, there's going to be more showers and thunderstorms over the Intermountain West, including for the Desert Southwest, because of the monsoon. It's pretty early for it, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it doesn't pick up until like late June into, say, early July. Uh, Mid-May is quite early, and that's because we're seeing an Enzo. We're seeing a El Nino brewing out there in the Eastern Pacific. And what it does, it, it helps to amplify this subtropical ridge to its north. So let's go forward here on the European model for tomorrow afternoon. This is for uh, May the 17th. Again, same ordeal. Showers, thunderstorms across the four corners. That includes for Flagstaff, Arizona. If you're in New Mexico, like Albuquerque. If you are in Colorado. If you're in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you are in, say, Yellowstone. I know a lot of people like going there to see the um, basically the geysers. Just to walk around and enjoy the sight enjoy the scenery and what nature has right but also nature is going to treat you all with some action here with showers and thunderstorms including for idaho even for eastern washington and oregon yeah you might be seeing some thunderstorms tomorrow because of this big high that's in place bringing in some hot conditions also some sticky conditions across this region so that is Wednesday. Let's go into Thursday. Okay, Thursday afternoon here. Same ordeal. Showers, thunderstorms again. Uh, more like some showers here across, say, Iowa into Wisconsin. That may clean out the air a little bit because it's been smoky up there because of this northwesterly flow. So hopefully you do get some rain that cleans out the air just a little bit, but won't help entirely, of course, because that flow is going to stick around for a while. So by Friday, by Saturday, 
by the weekend. Drier conditions here in the wake of this front as it moves across the eastern seaboard into the southeast. Yeah, the monsoon at work again across the four corners. In fact, every day this week, there will be showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours. So if you're going up to Lake Tahoe, if you're going towards Reno, if you're going into the four corners, just be aware. Sunny mornings, maybe a couple of clouds from time to time. But when that afternoon heating gets uh, going and we got the moisture in place, we're going to see thunderstorms build up. So some of the billowing cumulus or hot towers, we call them, going to get going each afternoon. From like about 1 o'clock on, is going to be pretty stormy in the mountains. If you're doing any hiking, just be aware of that. Yosemite is a beautiful spot to go. Uh, but if there's going to be some heavy rainfall, that might exacerbate some of the uh, runoff too uh, over the higher terrain. More showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. So for Sunday, again, same thing here in the four corners. You're going to be continuing with uh, on again, off again, thunder activity. Okay. So now let's take a look at the temperatures. Because yes, when this ridge is in place, it's going to be really hot. Pretty muggy too. Yeah, so if we do take a look here at Phoenix, if we look here at, say, uh, Palm Springs, yeah, it's 100 today. It's going to be very hot again tomorrow. You're used to it. Yep, happy May to all of you watching this video down there across um, southern Arizona, southern California. Not so bad if you're in the high plains and the northern plains, while anomalously warm up here in southern Canada, that's where there's a lot of wildfires burning out of control right now and that's gonna be the theme going forward maybe some cooler weather on wednesday to help the firefighters up there but it's gonna heat up again so that's gonna exacerbate the uh, fire concerns the air is gonna be dry a uh, very very bad combination for forest fires up there uh, by thursday afternoon this is a look at it look at Definitely warms up for Texas, for Oklahoma, for Arkansas, Louisiana in the upper 80s, low 90s, some triple digits here in California and say uh, Nevada. Yeah, it's pretty warm up there across Washington and Oregon. Temperatures in the 70s, 80s, even 90s. Yeah, I mean, May the 18th, it shouldn't be that warm. Also really hot up there in Canada. Again, temperatures in the 80s. It will be a tough one for the firefighters to get those fires under control. And then again, very warm down here across the deep south and also for the uh, Intermountain West there of California. And that continues all the way through, say, the weekend with some really warm temperatures up here in Canada. It's going to be a long haul, I'll tell you that right now therefore when we take a look at our six to ten day temperature forecast here temperatures will be above average across much of the northern plains below average across the deep south and the southeastern so not too bad there we take a look at our eight to 14 day temperature um chance forecast here likely above average for the northern plains for the great lakes the upper midwest and the northeast with somewhat above average chances there for the northwest while temperatures here could be slightly below average or chances of those temperatures being below average in some degree for days um eight to fourteen six to ten days again the monsoon at work so uh, again above average precipitation of for the four corners even for socal wouldn't surprise me if we get some haboob activity, especially over the uh, inner deserts like, say, Cathedral City, say, like Palm Springs, maybe like Barstow can get some haboobs out there because of this uh, desert southwest monsoon that's in place. And then a, a below average chances of precipitation there for Indiana, for Illinois. And that continues through the next 8 to 14 days. As you can see there, the monsoon probably not giving up just yet. Now, before I do end it, I do want to promote TrilogyMaps.com. There is a link in the description below this video, including an ad that you're about to see right now. I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look 
looked incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code David before finalizing your purchase. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's detailed weather forecast for May the 16th, 2023. Have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with another video at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time.